Hi, I'm McKenna Henry. I'm a sophomore goalkeeper for the UCSB women's soccer team. It's really just my mom, my sister, and I. It was just the three of us, always, forever. My father was not in the picture. He made a lot of promises that never came true, and the only people who were really there to catch me were my family. My mom did everything she did she could for us supported us, made sure we had food in our stomach, clothes in our bag. She just made everything seem magical, seem like a little palace. Like, it was my own fairy tale. I played basketball, football, flag football, track and field, field hockey. So if I had a ball, some kind of hand-eye coordination, I was right there with it, trying to do my best at it. I've been around trophies, plaques, everything. So I just, I wanted to match that. I wanted to be better than that. I wanted to go even farther, take even more trophies, receive all that I could get from sports, go to college for sports. I knew we didn't have a lot of money. Even though my mom tried her best to make it seem like we were fine, but I knew better. And I knew that getting a full ride scholarship would relieve a lot of financial pressure. My junior year is when I committed to UCSB. At the same time, I was overcoming an injury to my left shoulder. I had surgery that same year. And, and to me, my world had just ended because I thought my surgery was going to kill any offer I had. Everyone was going to walk out on me. And then Santa Barbara stuck around. I was just taken aback when Paul Stump, the coach, the head coach, called me and just asked, how are you doing? And I knew that that's the kind of environment I need to be around this like commitment to making sure we're bettering ourselves as athletes and as people. As that was going on, those same amazing feelings of, wow, my dream is still there at my fingertips, my father came into my world for the first time in a very long time. And I went to go visit him when he had a stage four cancer. So that definitely played a huge role in a shift in my emotions and attitudes towards the game. Him not being there taught me that the world is not perfect. Uh, you don't get every fairy tale story that you hear at night or that you hear in grade school. That doesn't mean you can't make your own come true. It woke me up, but also kept me hopeful, knowing that I can change things. I can be the girl who overcame that obstacle girl who can set the example, like my mom always said, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, you keep going until you've got what you want. Of course it was difficult, but I just knew what had to be done and so I did it. And here we are now. I would really love to go play on the national team. Um, that's my next step. I need to strive to be great and I understand that and I will make the sacrifice and I will keep going until it's done and I will carry all the things I've learned from the past with me. It's good to forgive, but you don't always need to forget.